Morning, everyone. Guess where I am? I'm in the in the nursery. I'm hanging out with uh, Mama and her little ones. I don't know where they are right now. Hey, baby. You want to say hi? Say hi to the camera. Hi. Say hi. Can you see? Remember Mary and Christmas? Well, I just brought them in here because they need their afternoon snack. They need extra food because Mama needs to make milk. Right, Mama? And she uh, needs to... Uh, and the babies need extra food so that they can grow. Because remember, uh-oh, it's winter. It's very cold here. And... Uh, so extra care, extra care for the sheep. So this is when I want to talk to you about a little bit. Uh, I, I have a, I think I have a little message on my heart for all of you. You say hi? Hey, baby. Say hi. This is the guy that was sick. And he's in here too. He's getting extra food anyway. Somebody asked me a few days ago, Vilna, how are you doing? I didn't answer right away because I wanted to think. What, what, do I, what am I going to say? And uh, I, I said to the person, uh, I'm processing lots of things. And uh, I don't know about you, but what is taking place in Canada? I sure hope that uh, you are going to be on the right side of history because God is on the move. And uh, what we are seeing in front of our eyes is God is stepping in and he's using the nameless and the faceless and the most unlikely people. He's, he used them to start something. I believe a freedom revolution, a, a, a movement and uh, uh, we hear about people getting saved. We hear about baptisms. We hear about how God is uh, touching hearts and just witnessing what is happening in downtown Ottawa. Somebody just sent me a text this morning saying, beside the birth of her children, this is the most beautiful thing that she has ever witnessed in her life. And let me tell you, I wish... I was there, but I can't at this moment because I have a responsibility to, I am a shepherd, I have to take care of my sheep. And just so you know, uh, we are also expecting uh, one of the goats to give birth in the next few days, which wasn't planned again, uh, but uh, she must have jumped over the fence and went to the billy sometime in the summer. And she is going to give birth out of season. And I believe that, you know, oftentimes we think things are going to look this way. But when God steps in, when nature steps in, and when the hand of God is on things, we cannot stop that. And whether you like this or not, whether you agree with this or not, but I, let me tell you, God is on the move. But I also want to share something with you. Something that is truly happening in my own heart. Hope is being restored. Hope in that God hasn't forgotten us. Hope in humanity. Uh, because uh, let me tell you, what has been taking place, especially in the last two years, I don't think should ever have happened to any of us. We have been traumatized. My heart has been traumatized. My, uh, the children's hearts have been traumatized for what has been done to them. And uh, what I see happening in Ottawa uh, is bringing back a lot of hope in my own personal heart. A few days back, uh, I think the convoy is now, I think it's about two weeks in now. And uh, when they passed through Regina, I wanted to go to, to see for myself. I, I, I knew in my heart something is happening. I stood 
next to the road for four hours in minus 30 weather uh, to, to see with my own eyes what is taking place. And a few days later, uh, there was a convoy coming from another town on the way to Regina. And I said to my friend, I want to go. I want to support them. And the moment the truck started to pass me by, there was about 120 trucks or so in this convoy. I felt, I, I started to dance next to the road. And I, I, I'm pretty, con uh, uh, what is the word now? Um, I don't dance easily in front of people, but I, 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 it was almost as if, as, as, as if I was just breaking loose. And I felt in my heart something was happening, hope was coming back into my heart. And this is the message that I want to share with you today. Um, hope is being restored. And uh, for what is taking place and watching, especially our children, uh, you know, just, just looking at videos and what they are so happy. They're playing again. They are... Uh, hugging uh, people, not only the children, but people, uh, and spreading love and kindness. Wow. God is on the move. And He's our great shepherd. And especially His love for children. Uh, I do believe that what is happening is history is in the making. Don't miss. Seize the day. And if you can get there, get there. Uh, I don't know when I'll be able to go, but I sure hope I can. But the love, the love that our shepherd have for, for, uh, for us, his sheep, I thank God today that if we are traumatized and if, if sheep are sick or if they need extra care, this is what he will do. So seize the day. If you are a shepherd, if you are a father uh, of, uh, you know, or a mother, you know, uh, with your kids, um, seize the day. Love. And, you know, this is... Uh, uh, is it uh, today is the 13th of February so it, tomorrow is Valentine's Day it's love love is going to change the world I write in my book I say it's not pointing fingers but it's like unconditionally love it un when we can love unconditionally this is how we change the world around us and I just want to I don't have my Bible with me right now but I think in the chapter of uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 13, it talks about love. It's the love chapter. It says, there's three things. <laughs> Hi, baby. Faith, hope, love. But the biggest one is love. May this inspire you to... Have hope in your heart again. To have faith. But it's love. It is love that's going to change the world around us. So bless you. Thank you for taking the time to be with me. And the kids here. Hey babies. And mama. Hey mama. I love to be with my sheep. Love to be with my sheep. And so is it also true about God. God loves us. He's our great shepherd. Right, babies? What are you guys doing? Are you chewing on my jacket? I know. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Bless you. Bye-bye.